Savannah O'Gwen from Savannah Land 2. Today I'm challenging myself. It's been since May of last year that I did this. <laughs> so I'm trying to make a masculine card with a clean and simple design and I need to use up my stash. I haven't been shopping for pattern paper for at least six months. I need to update my supplies, so I better get to using them. <laughs> I'm doing what I always do. I start out by looking through my pattern papers and my scraps, and I literally save everything. You'll see that I use just a sliver of a piece of paper. It's just, I don't throw anything away. Also known as a hoarder, but in a good way. So I'm just laying everything out and trying to figure out what I want to use and how I want to use it. This is going to be a masculine card, and I think it's for Travis, so bad news. I already showed him the picture of the card because I just couldn't hold it in, so I'll have to surprise him later with it. <laughs> okay, so anyway, I am using the Uplifter stamp set, and I'm going to use little die cut arrows but I know you can or chevrons or are they even chevrons no they're little arrows I know you can make them using the hexagon dies which I've done before you can click the link above to check out that video but um, I haven't really decided what I'm gonna do you know how I am I always think about everything <laughs> so I'm attaching my papers and really, I'm just thinking about everything. Right here is where I pull out the two dies that I think I might use. Again, I said I'd use the hexagons, or Paper Smooches has a die set called Hot Spots Small Sets, and they have little arrows that you can use. So I'm just going to pull these out, and I'm thinking about what I'm going to do. And right here was an aha moment. I forget sometimes that I put my leftovers in my little sleeves, and I'm like, hello, let's use this to check out if I want to use which die. Oh, I, sometimes I'm clever, you know, just sometimes. <laughs> and I really like how this little arrow looks on this card. It's the perfect size, and honestly, creating my own arrows is a bit difficult and time-consuming, and I wanted this card to be quick clean and simple. So I pull out my hot spot small set and I'm going to make my own gold colored paper. This pattern paper didn't have that so I thought I would make my own. Now because I'm using up the scraps I'm going to literally just tape them onto the die itself. And because I only need a couple of each color I'm going to just tape them all down at once. So that's what I'm doing here. Really, this is simple, not anything too fancy for this. Just tape down your scrap papers. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go die cut these. And as I'm pulling out the pieces, I notice that there's one in the center where the two colors came together, and the arrow actually has two colors for it and I love it but I lost it I literally can't find it Ugh. so I pick up I'm not joking I pick up every piece and I found it <laughs> so I pull that aside and I pull out four arrows that I think I'm gonna use because I'm not sure you know again I'm crazy like that I have to think about everything and one thing I like to do is I like to place my stamp on my acrylic block and then if I have any extra pieces that I'm going to add later, I add them to the top of the block just to see where I want to place my sediment. Simple trick. And I'm just checking out what color of ink I wanted to use. I wasn't sure if I wanted to use the Espresso Truffle or black. I ended up using Espresso Truffle. Love this color like a hundred times. It's one of my favorite colors of ink. It's neutral, but it's still bold. I love it. I don't even know what espresso truffle is. Sounds like coffee. I don't know. But anyway, maybe chocolate. Anyway, <laughs> now I'm just going to glue down my arrows. I ended up just using the solid gold instead of the multicolored gold arrow. What are you going to do? 
Now I'm just gonna decide where I want my mini stapler, or well, my mini staples. And I stapled two on the left-hand side, but there was a major problem. I don't know what happened, and I don't know if you can see in the video, but my stapler literally just cut a staple in half. It was the oddest thing ever. Well, whatever. I fix it, and I restaple, and I'm thinking about putting another one in because odd numbers, that's a good thing. But I decide not to. <laughs> I'm back and forth, back and forth. But that's really it. This is the final product. I love it so much. I hope that you will join in my challenges with me. Use one, two, or three of the challenges for your next creation. And please leave a comment below with a link to one of your creations or link up to our Inspired by Virtual Smooches post. I'd love to check out your project. Thanks so much for watching. And I do love you the mostest, Trev. <laughs> Olson's a close second. <laughs>